All of you, welcome back once again. In this video, we'll try to understand the important concept of coding that how you have to code. I've been in the industry for the last five years. I have seen all type of variation in the code structure, in the smart contract, in the scoring, or whether you talk about the full stack blockchain development or code blockchain development. I have seen all different type of pattern which most of the developer utilize when they write the smart contract, when they write the front end code for it. But what structure is better for you? What do you have to focus at your initial stage? So there are two type of developer. One is a beginner the other one is a advanced or intermediate so if you come into these two category it has a different set of coding structure which you have to follow if you are absolute beginner then there are certain sets of rules which you have to follow to make things clear to you to understand the program and later you can able to build on top of it so let's talk about the first state that how you have to code when you are writing the first smart contract when you are building your first web3 tab so if you are absolute beginner in that context, I would never encourage you to focus on a refactoring model because that's what I have seen most of the beginner developer follow this particular architecture that they start refactoring straight away without having a deeper understanding about the project. Like it's good, there's no problem in the refactoring, but that's come into the advanced level. When you have the complete understanding about the programming language, when you have the complete understanding about the architecture, and when you start focusing on the performance, in that context, you have to follow a different architecture where you're going to focus more towards the reusability and where you can convert the entire feature into a small, small micro feature, which you're going to simply plug into the DAB and is going to make the functionality. That's come to the advanced part. But if you're an absolute beginner, I would never encourage you to focus straight away on this architecture because you're going to have a lot of confusion. You're going to have a lot of confusion. You're not able to understand that what exactly happening. Like first you can take the normal approach. After that, you can able to convert it into a reusable model. So you can able to understand that what exactly happening in the program, that how, how it was written earlier, how I have converted it and what kind of changes I can easily able to track down in that particular pattern. So this one is very important. So never ever follow the reusable model when you are starting up and you are absolute beginner. Focus on the clean structure. Like if you want to fetch the data from the smart contract, you can simply build a simple function and fetch one function. One call one function and get the data of that particular function and feed into the component. If you have another function which deal with the like reading the data in the smart contract, you can simply build another function. So this should be your stage. You can build one function for every single function which you are calling from the smart contract for reading the data or writing the data. You can take this into a next level by converting into a reusable model. And that will automatically come when you will start working and gaining understanding about the contract, different program, different logic. When you're going to understand all of that, it will automatically come. So never ever straight away focus on the like advanced reusable model because this is the problem I have seen in most of the developer. They don't understand that how they have built it. They have just replicated it for somewhere or for watch for the chat GTP or any other AI tools and they are using it. But they are not understanding that why it's working. So understanding is very important. The trend which I can see at the moment that so those who will sustain in the field of coding, those who have the deeper understanding about their work. So if you are a smart contract developer, you have to have a very good understanding about the solidity, about the programming language, how you can focus on the security testing. So you have to be very good in that because right now this basics work can be done very easily by this AI model. If you want to write any program, you can simply give a prompt and they're going to give you the structure. If you don't have the understanding about the programming language, about the code structure, then how are you going to manipulate and add on top of it? So you have to be very good in your smart contract development. So if you are absolute beginner, never ever focus on straight away on the reusable architecture. That's not a good choice for you. Focus on the complete building from scratch. We have a tons of project on our channel where we have followed the same architecture. First, we have built the long function for reading the data, writing the data. Then we have converted the same function into a reusable model. So we can make it our application very light, less code and less clutter. So this is the architecture you have to follow. Never ever straight away start writing the code without taking a proper idea and designing the architecture. First sit and think that what it is, what problem you want to solve, what exactly you want to build, what are the things you're going to need in the smart contract, what are you going to need in the front end, how are you going to design the entire architecture and then start building. This will save a lot of your time. And if you will have a clear understanding that what exactly you are building, how you are building, what are the things you're going to apply. If it's come to a scaling, how are you going to scale it on top of it? If you come to security, how are you going to make it secure? That's all will automatically clear. So take this approach. First focus to build the functionality to make the application workable. After that, optimization, secure testing, like making secure the smart contract in the front end side, in the back end side, connection with the blockchain, that's come later. But first you have to make the thing working. First make 
every single thing is working once it's working then focus on the optimization so this should be your strategy if you are working on a project this is the way you have to follow if you're an absolute beginner so that's the only thing i want to talk about i hope you have got an understanding that what structure you have to follow and how you have to follow